Just a quick note before this free video. If you click like and subscribe, I'd be very thankful. Your main event, Solo Sokoa and Tama Tonga and Jacob Fatu versus Cody Rhodes and Kevin Owens and Randy Orton. So when this went on last, I knew Roman wasn't coming back, but I thought, are we going to get the return of Jimmy Uso to, uh, you know, team with Jay? I mean, we've got to start creating the two bloodlines at some point. Are we going to have some big angle? I mean, there's got to be something for this to go on last. And the answer was, they just set up a match for SummerSlam. Yeah. Uh, it was a TV match. They, they did a, a, it was kind of. I mean, they, they, they had more time. Uh, and it had a... Uh, Actually, it's funny you mentioned that. It didn't. Like, a lot of these Raw and SmackDown matches go like, you know, 22 minutes, that's, but there's seven minutes of commercials in it that you That's probably true. Through. I'm sure that's true. I'm sure that's true. So, I yeah. uh, had more time that we got to see. Um, and they they did more crazy stuff than they typically do on TV these days as far as uh, big giant table spots and actually wasn't even that much uh, hardcore stuff because all the ladder stuff. But the takeaway was there were uh, shenanigans with multiple ref bumps and there was a period where they were like triple teaming one of the heels for forever in this ring. Oh, it was, it was after the ref bump. They just, they said, well, you can't get a pin. Let's just murder Solisicoa and make sure he never gets out of anything ever again in the history of the world. And the match continued, and Jacob Fatu looked awesome. Tama Tonga looked totally fine. Tonga Loa had one spot, fucked it up. Yeah. <laughs> um, but on the whole, yeah, it just felt like a TV match. And in the end, all that happened was uh, Cody is about to hit the crossroads on Solo for like the 14th time. But Jacob Fatu saves. Together, they lay Cody out with a Samoan spike. They throw the ref in the ring, and he counts the pin. Solo pins Cody. But honestly, like, in a way, it felt like a clean win. The point is, it was just a match. Nobody returned. Nobody debuted. Nobody turned on anyone. Two teams fought. One guy pinned another. The end. Well, obviously, we have Solo and Cody for the title now. Sure. SummerSlam. Sure. So that's that's, that, that's, that's, the, that's the first person that's pinned Cody in a long, long time. Yeah. Actually, since WrestleMania, the night before Mania. But I think the thing to me is that... And I mentioned this to Dave. The biggest match they can do right now is Cody Rhodes and Jacob Fatu. Jacob Fatu has been pushed from the day he showed up as a fucking monster. And clearly they want to hold that one off for a while, which is understandable. But like the very first spot they did was Jacob gets in the ring with Randy Orton and he charges at him. Randy Orton sidesteps him. Jacob Fatu flies outside. As he's coming back in, Randy grabs him and he hits the draping DDT. And, you know, your first thought is, oh, my God, they made this guy a fucking geek right out of the gate. But he takes the DDT and he just stands right up. And Randy Orton goes for the RKO and all of a sudden he looks up and it's like, oh, my God, he didn't sell my move. And from that point <laughs> forward, they pushed Fatu. I mean, he was a monster in this match. And the thing to me is, and this happens a lot in every company, actually, does anybody think Solo Sokoa has a chance in fucking hell of beating Cody at SummerSlam? Raise your hand if you do. Nobody? Okay. Well, I watched SmackDown. I watched this show. They don't give this fucking guy anything. Like, what did they give Solo in this match? Even though he got the pin. What did they give him where you think, my God, he might actually beat Cody? The only thing they gave is the idea in your mind that, well, if he shows up with Jacob Fatu, maybe they can fuck the guy. But you don't believe he can beat him. I mean, they beat fucking Solo. They beat him and beat him and beat him in this match. He took like six crossroads. I mean, everybody hit him with their finisher. Like, he was just a geek. He was a fucking bigger geek than Tamatanga. But... He was the one that got the cover at the end, so he's going to get the match at SummerSlam. But, I mean, it was exactly... If you look at the booking of the show, I called nearly every match and angle. Like, I knew Drew was going to win. I knew, I knew he was going to try and cash in and fail. I knew that Tiffany was going to win. I knew that, um, you know, we went over the Damien Priest thing with the, the Drew thing. I knew that Tiffany was probably going to win, and I knew that, uh, you know... Solo was going to pin Cody in the main event. The only thing I didn't get was Braun Breaker, which I still think is stupid. 
So it's like everything they did was what was right, but still, it was like I just watched the show and what wasn't feeling it at all. It was just there. Yeah. So I liked it a little more than that, but but again, no, it was not like the well bit. in a vacuum, yeah. And the, 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 Men's Money in the Bank was great. Four matches were good. The other was, at the very least, exciting. <laughs> yeah. It's unforgettable. <laughs> it was unforgettable. I'll give them that. It was certainly unforgettable. <laughs> in fact, when I think about the show in five years, I'll probably remember that match more than anything else. Yeah. So that, that's, that's, that's something. Probably. But yeah, yeah you know, there was a lot of downtime that uh, could have been cut, cut out or enhanced or something, but... You know, it was a show. I imagine most WWE fans were pretty happy. The fans in Toronto were clearly very happy. Hey, they they got their money's yeah, worth, you yeah, know. Good yeah, for them. Yeah. I will say that now, I mean, we got a big question. Is Heat Wave going to be better than this show? Because it's probably going to be two and a half hours. Okay. It's not going to go too long. Mm-hmm. Nathan Frazier and Axiom versus Chase U. Probably be a pretty damn good match. Oba Femi Wesley could be good. Roxanne and Lola should be good. Kalani and Sol Ruka. And then the uh, the four way with Trick and Ethan and Javon and Sean Spears. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's possible. It's on the table. It's, it's certainly possible. Yeah. So look at the card. Maybe it's unlikely. I... But you know what? Damn it, it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> you're I tried such... to talk myself into you're it. But... Such a good soldier. <laughs> I tried. Right. We'll see. Hey, maybe we'll be surprised. I've been surprised before. You know what I mean? Yeah. We could be surprised. Yeah. They choreograph a lot. They got that. Hey, they're all down there working on their matches right now. Probably right, actually, they probably are right this second, yes. Yeah. yeah. So why don't we start reading some questions, <laughs> and we'll see if we can spur some answers out of Granny. Shall we try? No, I don't think so. Let's try. <laughs> then, then you'll really find out how dumb I am. Granny, did you know there was a wrestling bear? Uh, no, <laughs> and I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's a bear that wrestled people. I still don't care. Okay. What is your favorite breakfast cereal of all time? What's your favorite cereal, Granny? You know what cereal is? I can't eat it. Fruit Islands, S'mores Crunch, Rocky Road, Original Recipe, Cookie Crisp, and of course all the video game inspired cereals like Super Mario and and Donkey Kong, and there was a Nerds cereal, cereal that tasted like candy. There's two bags inside the box, and one was grape and one was cherry. Oh, it was oh. great. Dunkin' Donuts had an excellent great. cereal for a while. These are all gone. These are all gone. What is your least favorite pizza brand? Little Caesars. The answer is Little Caesars. There used to be a great, great pizza throughout the Northwest called Pietro's Pizza. Every memory of yours is about something from the deep past that you're sad is no longer around. Yeah. I yeah, they could be my favorite food. Just go to Mod Pizza and love it. This sounds good. Is Granny frozen? Granny, you frozen? No, I'm ready to read my report. Your picture is frozen. It is? Yeah. Or you're doing a great job as a ventriloquist. Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.